past 3 o'clock and we're going to move some crap. Alright, everything's hooked up. And I'm going to follow Dad out to the uh, feedlot where we're going to be grabbing the manure from. There's a pile over there and we got a couple gates to open and then we're going to be taking it to a bean field just about a mile away and in a little bit I'll explain why we're spreading it on that bean field. Here's where we're grabbing the manure from. You can see we got a pile there and a pile there and so and there's not too much but we have one issue and that's this gate that we got to go through. It's really wet. You can see there's standing water right there. And so it's gonna be pretty tough getting in and out of there. I got through the gate just fine, but you know, I was empty and we're gonna to have to go through here at least 30 times. So that's gonna be pretty ate up by the end of this. But we're through right now. We're getting some stuff done and uh, you can't ask for much more than that besides a dry gate. Stuff seems pretty heavy. All right, so we got a full load. We're gonna take off, hopefully not get stuck, because uh, that stuff's really heavy, it's wet. And that gate's not very good. From our place, it's just three quarters of a mile west and then about three quarters of a mile north. So it's not too far, but you know, we, a lot of times we spread in that 50 acre field right next to our house and it's like a 200 foot drive. And so this is definitely a lot longer than what we normally do, but we spread manure on that field the last two years. Manure is worth about 25 bucks a ton and it's weight and nutrients and so it really is valuable, and I think it's really important to spread it on uh, fields that you take a lot of nutrients off. We put some of this stover in a row and uh, baled it. That way we could get some nice bedding. And so the plan is that I'm going to spread the manure where we made those bales because we had a little extra nutrients that we took off in that area. And you can see there's a few strips especially right there that's where that windrow was laying and so it's really easy for me to tell where we took the stover off of lift up the end gate and start the pto that way it gets those spinners running rev up to a thousand rpm now hopefully it comes out pretty fine those big clumps can make it hard to uh get a good stand in the areas that you spread this stuff if you don't disc it ahead of time we don't usually disc our soybeans up right before we put corn in. One other thing I'm kind of worried about is it's a little moist. When this manure spreader is full, it's got a lot of weight. So it's probably going to be a little bit of compaction. But, I mean, we got we to gotta get this manure moved and we got to put it somewhere. So Once that starts getting down there, I start lowering the end gate. Because sometimes there's rocks in these feedlots and, and those spinners will chuck a rock at your back window, which obviously wouldn't be good. So we like to close that down a little bit. That way we don't get rocks chucked out the tractor. Pulling out that first time. Pretty deep track. And so as long as it doesn't get deeper than that, it shouldn't be too big of a deal. But what, one bad thing is at some point, the spreader might start bottoming out and then the, that's where the chain is. It runs kind of on the bottom, back around. And if that starts hitting the ground, we could easily tear the chain, the floor chain apart, which, which we don't have parts for and it would take a while to uh, put that back together.
decided to join the party. Hey there, up up. Good doggy. So right next to the speed lot is this 50 acre cornfield I was talking about. We got cattle grazing it right now. And that's where I said we've been putting our manure the last two years. You can see why that's so attractive to us to put it out here because it's right next to, it's adjacent to the two feedlots that we have on the north part of our farm. And so, you know, it, it, it takes a lot less time. It uses a lot less fuel. We're having a tough time. If you've been watching my videos, you've been hearing it all summer, all fall. It's wet. And usually we have this done, we usually do this about August. Seem to be having an issue. My uh, floor chain won't engage. Okay, here we go. I think it. There we go. I can hear it. Sometimes, don't ask me why, it's probably something pretty technical, but usually when I turn it on, I push this number one hydraulic forward. And, well, every time you turn it on, I have to do that. But sometimes it just won't go. I don't know why, like it won't even try. And so you gotta pull it back, which is kind of bad because it deadheads in there because it's not supposed to run backwards the hydraulic flow but you just t click it back real quick and then push it back forward and then it gets going so crisis averted quit there with that the sun's going down and also that really big pile we wouldn't even make a dent today So we put that manure spreader back in the Quonset. The tractor's still hooked up because we're hoping we can still get some more out of here before uh, things get too wet from the impending snowstorm. But thanks for watching. Hope it wasn't too boring. See you next time.